Well, good morning, everybody. Or good day, everybody, wherever you may be. This is Reagan, your RV Traveler's Voice, coming to you from Tar Camp. This is a U.S. Army Corps of Engineers campground on the Arkansas River, which you see here in the background here on this uh, wonderful sunrise in the springtime. Still a little chilly. You'll see a little fog on the river behind me. And uh, we're here having a good time at Tar Camp. We're gonna take you on a little bit of a walking, riding, biking tour of the campground. I'll let you check it out. Uh, we're here at a wonderful riverfront uh, site. It's a long, skinny campground. Lots of sites, water and electric hookup, along with the uh, dump station as well. And uh, obviously the activities are here along the river. Uh, lots of fishing and uh, nice level, easy bike riding up and down the, the campground as well. So I uh, hope you enjoy the tour and hope uh, you enjoy our stay here. And if uh, you're in the area between Pine Bluff and uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, uh, just a little ways from Redfield, stop in here. Don't hesitate to uh, like and subscribe and comment uh, on this video as well and we'll keep you up to date on the travels of Fred and Ethel, our uh, tow vehicle and our 29 V-Bud camper as well. So stay tuned as we uh, take you around this campground. All right, so uh, we're coming up on the entrance to Tar Camp Park. It has a long, straight lane, tree-lined lane, down to the uh, to the main gate. And they have one aspect of the park that is outside of the main gate, and that's the first of the group shelters. You can rent for a uh, for a fee. Distance down the lane here, we have Tar Camp check in. There's two park hosts camped on either side of the gate. And just outside the main gate as well, you'll find the uh, dump station. Easy access on the way in or on the way out. Just inside the gate, you'll find several day use picnic table areas all along the river here and a set of restrooms here on the right and the second of their day use shelters here on the left that you can reserve now before we get to any of the campsites we do have the a dual ramp boat ramp set up here where you can drop your boat into the end of the river if you're an angler or fisherman. Yeah. Yeah, playground area, basketball hoop, and a play structure for the kiddos, as well as a, uh, a climbing wall there in the distance. So a few activities beyond just uh, water and fishing and walking activities here. Now it is a long, narrow campground following along the river, separated into three camping sections. A is in Apple, C is in Charlie, D is in Delta, and uh, we'll take you through each of those. A and D are both along the water and or along the river, and C is along a uh, a back inlet, small creek into or bayou running into the river. So we'll start with A and then make our way down. Now the site numbering uh, starts with A10 as you see here on the left and continues down pretty basic uh, back in campsites. Uh, most of these in the A section have asphalt pavement. Some have concrete pads all with uh, 30, 50 amp pedestals and water connections and it runs A10 through A26 this being A13 here and you'll notice this side has a second driveway for a boat or other vehicles you'll find that on many sites here not all of them uh, but many of the sites here 
We're passing A15 now. And picking up at A16, making our way on down the drive. Lots of back end sights. Not too tightly spaced, uh, but there's not a lot of uh, underbrush growth here. It's all been cleared out, so it is a nice wide open setup with quite a few shade trees. Very peaceful park here, just across from A20. You'll see there are three, a string of three back end sights on the inside here. These are the three non-waterfront sites, A25, 24, and A26. Across from the rest of the A Apple sites here. And we end up here with A23, the last of the A sites. Come to a fork in the road, and at this fork, we'll head on down to the C site, C for Charlie. Now, just into the loop for the C site, you'll find the common bathhouse, one bathhouse, nice restrooms and bath facilities here serving the entire campsite. As we enter the C section, it is a loop uh, starting with C4 through C10. And so, uh, Again, I did not uh, start with number one, but the two first two or three C sites are part of this, I think what they call a group camping site. They have uh, a firing area and a couple of campsites here on the right. And uh, just beyond those is the bayou that I spoke of make our way down to the end of the sea loop and you'll find that you have a fishing pier and several benches along by you here for day fishermen. As you see there are a few folks here arrived at fishing and I will vouch uh, for uh, the fish here. It was a nice time I catch new catfish and bass and drum and bluegill. So there you see Bayou, and we'll take a ride down to the pier. And we have some fishermen here. And I'm making our way back from the fishing pier, small dock. We'll come along a small string of campsites here, all uh, pretty much with asphalt paved sites they're not quite as level you'll see they tilt uh, down most of them have a downward tilt to them but uh, side to side they seem pretty good and you have uh, they do back up to a small uh, inlet of water here as well more of a marshy area away from the river as we come to the last few of the uh, Charlie sites. C8 here as we're passing, C9, and C10 will be the last of these sites. And now we're going to start on the D loop. And first two are pull through sites, D1 and 2. And many of the D sites have brand new concrete paved aprons as well as. Uh, pads and most all the sites have brand new water and electric pedestals. Come to D3 here on the water. You see these are quite close to the, to the river. Easy access D4 and D5 and you have quite a variety. Those that have shade, those that are out in the open depending on what you like. It's your pleasure. And D7, last on this small little loop. And we make our way back to the main road here. We have D8. And then set back a little bit. D9 on the driveway. Moving our way down here. D10. It's unoccupied currently. D11, all the nice unobstructed views of the river and basically you get perfect sunrises over the river here from all of these sites. Now we have uh, Fred and Ethel here at site D12. We're enjoying our stay here. It does have a secondary drive for a boat or other vehicle. 
as well as D13, you have a really long secondary drive as well. And these are very, very nicely spaced. Moving on down, D14 and D15. D16 and D17 are pretty, pretty close to each other. But all, uh, all in all, not bad sights down through here. A little further away is D18. D18 does have a bit of a step up to your picnic table. You keep that in mind. And D19, nice long concrete drive. And we reach the end of the line down here. We have D20 with a really short drive there. Uh, D21 up a little bit of a hill. And D22, fairly short space as well. And here at the end of the line, we have a lot of extra, extra parking spaces for your guests as well. So as you can see, the long, long skinny sites, long skinny campground at Tar Camp. And overall, well-spaced, mostly tree-lined sites, lots of water access, and nice level, level sites, level paths. All right, we're back here at the campsite, and I'll give you a glimpse of another little neat thing about Tar Camp is that you uh, get to observe a little bit of the uh, barge traffic going up and down the river. So this is the view from our campsite number 12, D12, Delta 12. Pan all the way around, a little circle here. About a campfire. And you'll see that friendly tugboat captain maneuvering a barge up the Arkansas River. Gave us a friendly little little blast of the horn for us. So just another little perk being here at Tar Camp at halfway between Pine Bluff and Little Rock. Just about five miles off the freeway in Redfield, Arkansas. Well, that's about a wrap here from Tar Camp as it's here at the end of the day. Nice and toasty warm by the campfire. Hope you've uh, enjoyed our little walking and riding tour of the campground. And be sure to hit that subscribe button just to stay up to date on all of our campground reviews and uh, tips. Hope you have a uh, wonderful time wherever you are. And uh, we'll see you soon. Don't forget to leave us some comments and feedback. Ask any questions you like and we'll get back to you when we can. This is uh, Reagan, your RV traveler's voice. And we'll see you down the road.